Hey everyone, this is uh, Caroline from V Technologies. Um, we have a few people still logging in, so I'm just going to take one extra minute to give everybody a chance to log in. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to give you a couple housekeeping items. Um, we will have an opportunity for Q&A at the end of the webinar. So if you'd like to use the chat area of the GoToWebinar pane, feel free to um, add your questions there throughout the webinar, and we'll try to get to those at the end. Um, we'll also be recording this re webinar, and we'll send an email out um, at the end to um, give you a link to the webinar, as well as contact information if you're interested in um, starting to use the post office or if you have any questions on Sydney Bowes. Okay, thanks for um, holding. I think we're good. We should go ahead and start the uh, webinar. Just want to give um, kind of an intro here. I know some of you um, may or may not know that we uh, recently announced a new partnership with Pitney Bowes, where Starship now uses the Pitney Bowes platform on the back end to handle all of our electronic communications with the post office. So we thought this would be a good opportunity to get a refresher on why the post office and also to learn more about Pitney Bowes. Um, so with that, I'd like to introduce Bruce Beatty of Pitney Bowes. Bruce? Thank you, Caroline, and uh, thanks uh, all of you who are in the participation for uh, all of you who are participating for, for joining us this morning. Um, let me kick right in and let's start with some interesting marketing market statistics. Uh, obviously, you all know that e-commerce is growing fast and, and driving the parcel marketplace. Uh, some interesting stats here around the overall parcel volume. Uh, many of you may not realize that almost 35% of all domestic parcel volume is actually handled by the USPS, uh, and that percentage is uh, significantly higher for, for e-commerce shipments. Uh, the Postal Service in recent years has really come on and become uh, a, a tremendous component of uh, many shippers' mix of, of, of services. Um, on the far side of the, the screen, looking at the 39% of parcels that are shipped more than 350 miles, uh, that becomes a real sweet spot for the USPS based on some of their services that have a defined uh, delivery time frame. And we'll talk more about those, uh, those time frames as we, as we get through the, the presentation. In the middle, uh, everyone on this call is using Starship, and so you've already made the move to a multi-carrier shipping system, and that's that's a critical component of uh, the best possible mix and, and utilizing the, the carriers. Uh, but many of the retailers in this survey have been using their system for some time and, and may not have gone back and revisited the original carrier mix that was in place when they deployed. So this might be a good time to be to be looking at that mix and considering the postal service as a as a new option. Amazon's had a huge impact, uh, not obviously on the e-commerce market, but particularly on the USPS. Um, as Amazon embraced the USPS. Uh, the money that flowed from services usage at Amazon into the USPS gave the Postal Service enough funding to do some, some interesting new things and to deploy new services um, that, that provide benefit to all parcel shippers, not to just, not to just Amazon. Things like flat rate shipping, 
um, the improvement in their operations, the SLAs that Amazon held the Postal Service to have created benefit for the market at large. And through all of the investment in enhanced tracking and performance improvements and adding insurance, uh, the Postal Service has remained focused on not having surcharges for many of the things that the commercial carriers add, like fuel and residential surcharges and remote areas and address corrections that really have a significant impact on your overall cost and what your invoice is from the carrier at the end of the day um, you know, versus just looking at the base rates for the postal services versus UPS. So recently, Pitney Bowes was engaged with uh, Forbes in uh, creation of a white paper regarding the parcel market. Uh, we deal with a lot of the major retailers and we provide e-commerce services to those retailers. And that was the, the background behind the, uh, the survey and the resulting white paper. There were two really critical things that came out of that, uh, that analysis. One is is that a multi-carrier strategy has a significant impact on shippers managing costs uh, and optimizing the combination of speed to deliver and, and cost. And the second thing was that the Postal Service uh, became a critical component uh, in that mix, uh, you know, particularly for certain types of packages and, and, and certain regional uh, regional opportunities. So how is the how has Amazon actually helped the USPS improve? Uh, the USPS has implemented six day a week parcel delivery to almost every residential deliver uh, every residential address in the U.S. Uh, that that leverages their existing mail delivery infrastructure, and because it's it's leveraging an existing infrastructure their cost of delivering to residences is significantly lower than the cost for the commercial carriers. And that's why they're, they're able to avoid having the incremental surcharges that UPS and FedEx have had to layer on in recent years. So Priority Mail, now a one to three day service, um, performance outstanding, uh, near parity with uh, the commercial carriers. Uh, they've introduced the first class package service which has a, a lower cost point for lighter weight packages, and that's got a two to five day uh, service. And then their international services have improved as well. Um, reliable delivery and returns, enhanced visibility and tracking, flat rate shipping, and free packaging are things we're gonna talk about a little bit as we go through the balance of this presentation. Before we go to the next slide, let's just uh, uh, revisit priority mail and that one to three day service. If we look at the ground time and transit map for UPS, uh, UPS has exceptional service all across the country, but because of the nature of their hub and spoke design, their delivery time and transit varies across the country. Um, so this is a, a copy of a, a UPS time transit map for an origin in, uh, in, Maryland, in the Maryland area. And you can see that the eastern half of the country, you know, half of the country is one to three days, and the other half of the country is four to six days, where priority mail is one to three days nationwide, regardless of destination. And that's, uh, that becomes an opportunity, particularly in the longer distance deliveries, to get improved service at, at a lower cost. And then the Postal Service has introduced flat rate boxes, the whole if it fits, it ships campaign, uh, which has driven a lot of activity and has brought a lot of volume to the Postal Service. And if we think about the combination of the information on the last slide, which is you've got one to three day services and um, a comparison to UPS where the Postal Service is actually faster to deliver, 
having a flat rate option for those longer distance deliveries becomes something that you really need to be looking at as an opportunity within your mix of services and carriers. And by leveraging flat rate boxes for longer rate shipping, using regional boxes for close rate shipping, and using your own boxes for local shipping, you can kind of take advantage of the anomalies in the rate chart and wind up with uh, an, an optimized mix that lowers your performance, uh, your, your cost per performance. We talked a little bit about package tracking enhancements. Um, USPS has invested very heavily in infrastructure, sortation equipment, and scanning devices, both for their uh, pickups, their delivery drivers, and the sortation that parcels travel through through the postal network, and has provided now uh, a technology infrastructure that uh, partners like the technologies can leverage to access the status of packages and present that to uh, yourselves and your clients uh, in, a in a fashion that's very similar to what uh, the commercial carriers provide. So multiple points of scanning from pickup through multiple moves through the postal network and through the final delivery, all with validation. And a simple, easy way to track that on the postal website or to access that through uh, the technology platforms like Starship. We talked about surcharges. You know, a lot of you, obviously, it's that time of the year and we're focused on the rate changes that are coming from, from UPS and FedEx in January. Uh, you've seen an announcement, likely, that says the UPS's increase is going to be an average of 4.9% on base rates. Well, that's interesting, but if you've, been, if you've been watching the market, you know that surcharges have been increasing at a much higher rate than base rates, and that's a subtle way for, um, for the carriers to get you focused on the lower cost and, and ignore some of the, uh, the additional costs of, of delivery. As you can see on this grid for the 2018 increases, the cost of uh, the increase in cost of surcharges is significantly higher than uh, the 4.9% base rate. So this is becoming a bigger and bigger issue every year, um, and hopefully you're paying attention to this and um, using the total cost of shipping in your comparisons with uh, the Postal Service. And of course, the Postal Service avoids surcharges on critical areas where those costs are driven up and uh, again creates that, that opportunity for you. Now in addition to uh, avoiding the surcharges, Pitney Bowes and Parcel Partners and V Technologies have collaborated to make available to the Starship users a discount rate program for Postal. So in addition to all the native benefits of the Postal Service, we now have the ability to offer you better pricing than you would typically get on your own. These are uh, kind of volume discounts that we're aggregating and making available to um, the Starship users. And it significantly expands those places where you have normally thought the Postal Service had a cost advantage. As you can see from this grid that compares the discount Postal Services to base rates and uh, on, from UPS and FedEx, um, there's significant savings to be had uh, across all zones and all the way up to 20 pound packages where normally you would think that it's really one to two pound packages in zones one to five that are that are the native advantage. So um, a real opportunity to focus on this, do some analysis, and, and, and take advantage of, uh, of a new opportunity. Another area of opportunity with the Postal Service surrounds dimensional weights. 
Um, and as you know, uh, with the, the major carriers, dimensional rating actually drives up costs uh, and, and can increase the price versus the standard weight and zone for a particular package. The Postal Service has looked at their infrastructure, looked at their equipment, and found a very interesting sweet spot for small packages. And combining this with the e-commerce volume and some of the leverage from, from Amazon, eBay, and others, they have a dimensional weight program whereby if you have a package that is smaller than half a cubic foot, um, and there's a lot of things that would, would fit into that, from shoes to teddy bears to carburetors to uh, replacement parts, tools, all sorts of things. Um, the postal program offers a fixed cost for that package up to, um, up to nine pounds. And as you can see in the in the diagram here, that cost savings versus standard costs from FedEx and UPS is uh, is an extremely uh, an extremely attractive proposition to most shippers. So if you if you've got some things in your mix that are smaller packages in that half cubic foot range, uh, this is a program that you really need to pay attention to. Um, the really nice thing is that Starship. Uh, and the way that they've implemented the Pitney Bowes solution, Starship automatically ch checks this program and the discount rate programs utilizing the dimensions that you provide and will highlight the least expensive option automatically to you. So it's, uh, it, it becomes something that's a little arcane to determine, becomes very, very simple and intuitive through Starship. So why should you have a USPS option? Um, you know, in, in summary, for ground deliveries and, and home deliveries in particular, um, you've got an inherent advantage to the Postal Service. The addition of the Pitney Bowes Parcel Partners discounts um, saves you even more and makes that, uh, makes that comparison even more in your favor and an opportunity to reduce your costs. Uh, priority mail statistically is on average a half a day faster than UPS and FedEx ground services. And so when you're focused on time and transit delivery, there's a real hidden benefit there for priority mail. The lack of surcharges adds, adds more value. And then you have free returns for priority mail and first class and free packaging from the Postal Service for priority mail. The last thing, a lot of, uh, or some shippers have been hesitant to use the Postal Service because they don't want to prepay for postage. Well, the good news is that we have a solution for you there as well. Um, Pitney Bowes has introduced a payment plan for postage that allows you to ship today and pay later or be invoiced by Pitney Bowes um, on, a, uh, on a monthly basis for your postage costs. Um, that brings us to parity with FedEx and, and UPS and takes away another area of advantage that historically has existed. Um, and, and this is something that may be of great interest to you in a way to defer your, your postal costs. Um, uh, of course, that's a, that's a credit-based program, um, and it is subject to some qualifications and, and limits that uh, you'll go through as you sign on for the program. So for VTech and Pitney Bowes, we, as Caroline mentioned earlier, we are fully integrated into Starship. Uh, when you use the postal services, uh, our engine automatically kicks in behind the scenes and provides you with all the benefits that we talked about through the presentation. Um, this is a turnkey solution that enables you to get up and running with the postal service really quickly. Um, so if you've got interest, you can, you can get this turned on in almost no time. Um, the discount postage program is reflected automatically. 
there's no additional setup and, and nothing else for you to do. So we hope that you use the power of Starship to identify your savings opportunities with Postal and, uh, and, and either use uh, shopping functionality or build op optimization rules to take advantage of it. And I guess the best part is all of this comes at, at no risk to you. Um, you can start shipping with USPS, and if you ship just one package in December, you'll receive a 15% discount on the USPS module from, uh, from Starship. Um, you'll get the discounted postage program to start savings on your shipping charges right away. Uh, Pitney Bowes will eliminate our monthly fee, which is normally $15.95 for your postage account. Um, and that's a, three, that's a $575 value over the three years. So if you're interested in getting started, it's very simple. Just contact V Technologies uh, customer support at the number you usually call or email them at sales at vtechnologies.com and they'll get, you, they'll get you started. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bruce. That was um, very informative. Um, just checking to see if um, anybody has any questions that they'd like to ask Bruce or myself regarding um, the post office or Starship. Um, feel free to um, put the um, question in the chat area of your uh, GoToWebinar dialog and we'll try to get to those. But again, I know that there were our, um, maybe a combination of our customers out there. Some have the post office module already, some may not. Um, and again, if you do have the post office module already, um, you can, it's pretty simple to get started as far as creating your um, Pitney Bowes account and then putting those credentials into Starship so that you can start using it right away. Um, and for those that don't have the post office yet, um, we can um, talk to you about um, licensing that. We do have the special promotion going on through the end of December where you can receive a 15% discount off the post office module. And um, once you get that enabled, um, which takes um, a second to enable it on your license, you basically have it available to you. And then um, you would create your Pitney Bowes account and then put those credentials into Starship. So pretty simple to get up and running. Might be a really good time to maybe start taking advantage of some of the things that Bruce discussed in uh, the webinar as far as you know flat rate boxes or really anything under 20 pounds that you um, want to try to save some shipping charges on. Um, might be good to start using the post office at this point in the year. Um, you know what, we have um, a question here, Bruce, it has just, is there a maximum package size? Can you speak to um, the packaging sizes um, and or I think we were discussing weights as well, Bruce? Sure. Um, there are absolutely uh, maximum package sizes um, for various services. So some of the flat rate packages uh, come in a variety of sizes. Um, there are maximum sizes for standard packages. Um, I don't have them at my, at my fingertips, but uh, there are some constraints. Uh, the maximum weight is 70 pounds for an individual, an individual package. Um, the nice thing is that if you are entering your dimensions, uh, the system will automatically determine whether your package is, is maxed out uh, and needs to switch to another uh, either another carrier or, or can't be shipped small parcel. Those are part of the business rules that we that we capture and track as we're rating the packages. So um, if there's a specific question, uh, we can certainly get back to you um, in, in an email with uh, uh, the maximum dimensions. Uh, but there are a variety of maximum dimensions based on the different programs, flat rate packages, standard packages, international packages and the like all have some variety to them. Um, and there are some uh, you know, additional dimensional costs for uh, uh, size packages. Hey Bruce, this is Terry. 
Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Bruce. Terry over at Visible. Just it's 108 inches in uh, combined length and girth on that, and as you mentioned, the 70 pounds. But the sweet spot really for these priority meal packages is a, a little bit less weight, and up to 20 pounds actually on some of the uh, cubic dimensions. Uh, you'll find that it, it really brings in savings. When you when you showed that rate chart, um, talking about postal rates versus UPS and FedEx, that was showing without accessorials. So that's a rate, um, a cheaper rate with no accessorials. So when you tack those on, the rates are, are amazing. And then also with the speed and transit, uh, comparing it, it actually, Priority Mail beats the two and three day products from FedEx and UPS by a half day. So that's not even the ground product, but the two and three day air products, Priority Mail beats that as well. Awesome, thank you. Um, we had another question. Uh, does the post office pick up or do we need to take the packages to the post office? The post office does have an option for um, for a, for a pickup. Uh, it's a request that you make uh, the day prior. Um, but there are also some other options on, uh, you know, if you've got larger volumes, there are uh, contract carriers and, uh, and and the like that can be utilized to uh, to get those packages to the postal service. Um, Terry, do you want to comment on that one too? Yes, as you mentioned, we've done this a, diff a variety of ways, but you can actually work at the post office, set up a specific time depending on your volumes, and if your volumes are left less, you can actually go in. Uh, onto their website and check the box or the days that you want them to come. So I've actually had clients just check every box and they would come and pick them up. And the post office is really good about that. They're going to every address every day. As long as you let them know that there's packages, uh, it's great. And then with the higher volumes, you can actually set a time um, and they'll come and they'll even, uh, as the volumes get higher and higher, they'll even come drop trailers, they'll come late nights, they'll come weekends, all these different things. The post office we found is great at helping you and working with you as your volumes go up and um, you you we are able to help facilitate that through Pitney Bowes as well and uh, we can be an advocate with the post office for you we have those relationships and, and we can help just so everyone knows that's Terry he's actually with um, parcel partners and that's our um, other partner that we have to help provide these discounted rates to you kind of working on the back end um, we have another question. Is there a weekly or monthly package minimum for shipping with the post office? There is not. These, these rates are, um, the rates that we provide do not have a, do not have a minimum. So um, that's one of the special things about the discount postage program is that it's not subject to a, a, a minimum or a maximum. Yeah. And I also want to mention with that, um, you know, there are also no contracts that you have to sign in order to get these discounts. Um, so um, it just basically the discounted rates will come through in Starship once you configure the post office module. Good point, Caroline. And it's also maybe valuable to note that at the end of each day, uh, Starship will generate a summary label uh, for all of the packages that you have processed for the Postal Service. So when the driver comes, they just scan that label and, um, and they're all set to go. There's, there's no other documentation that has to be provided to uh, the driver or uh, at the counter, heaven forbid, you actually go to the post office. Um, there was another question about using credit cards to pay for the Net30 invoice. Do we want to um, touch on that? And I can, um, or Simon can add into that as well. Um, on the invoice program, uh, we don't accept credit cards because it's a credit line itself. We've already extended you the 30-day um, the terms. So we bill monthly and we give you 30 days to pay but it would be an ACH uh, transfer to make that payment. Awesome, thanks. I don't see any other questions coming through, Bruce. Bruce, do you just wanna have some closing remarks? I know that we're a little bit early, but I'm sure everybody will be happy to 
um, take the extra time and get some things done this afternoon. Um, yeah, thank you everybody for your time. Um, I hope there's been some, uh, some interesting content here and that we've uh, piqued your interest. Uh, we would love to uh, work with you and uh, get you on postal service and, and using our rates. Um, on behalf of Parcel Partners and Starship, uh, we think this is a, a great collaboration. Uh, we've got a lot of customers who are, are using this program, taking advantage of it. Uh, we, we hope we can add you to that as well. And we hope you all have a great holiday and a, a continue to have a big holiday season from a shipping perspective. Great. Thanks so much, Bruce. Thanks, everybody, for taking some time out of your afternoon, and we'll send a follow-up email right after this. Take care.